Do you have larger capital gain on your rental property? 1031 Exchange may help you defer the capital gains. Let's see an example. Megan owns a condo in New York. She bought the condo 20 years ago for $200,000, and its current market price is $1.2 million. Megan lives in Florida, and she has been renting out her condo in New York for a number of years. Tired of dealing with a rental property that located in another state, Megan plans to sell the condo, but she doesn't want to pay the capital gain taxes. What can she do? She can do a 1031 exchange to defer all the capital gain and own a rental property in her own state, Florida. Let's see how it works. Megan found Mike who owns a house in Florida that he has been renting it out. The market price of Mike's house is $1.3 million that he bought 15 years ago for $500,000. Mike wants to move to New York and sell his rental house, but he doesn't want to pay the capital gain taxes as well. So Mike wants to do a 1031 exchange with Megan only if Megan pays additional $100,000 to match the market price of his house. If exchange, let's see how the gains are deferred. To Megan, she owns Mike's $1.3 million house and her new basis on the house is $300,000 because she paid $100,000 during the exchange. This increased her original cost basis. She has deferred $1 million capital gain. To Mike, his cost basis on the condo is $500,000. He has to pay capital gain tax on the $100,000. His deferred capital gain is $700,000.